It's titled Rebecca and Eliezer at the Well and Jacob Wrestling the Angel. And both of these stories, these two pages, are found in our first illustrated manuscript, which is titled The Vienna Genesis. Vienna, Austria, from where it is placed, it was probably made in Syria. And Genesis is the first chapter of the of the Bible. So the function of this piece is that it is a manuscript of the first chapter of the Bible. And it was requested probably by a very wealthy family member or family, Christian family that would have had this in their home. Um, the context for this is that big picture here, when the Roman Empire fell, the red western area here was invaded by the germanic people from the north and the roman empire fell at 476 and the purple area of the roman empire it managed to stay strong and became the byzantine empire for 1000 years it continued on and the people in this empire kind of felt like they were just a continuation of the roman empire smaller but still continuing to be Roman. And in this whole um, time period when the Roman Empire existed, or at least until at the beginning of the foundation of um, Christianity, Christianity spread in the Roman Empire. You can see the purple early on, and then the green was a little later. So Christianity pretty much went everywhere in the Roman Empire. And so this area after the Roman Empire fell, was very Christian. And Christianity was very tied to their government. So it's no surprise that these two pages were written in this region of the world. Now their form is that they were made of very expensive material. They are made with vellum, which is the lining of the um, stomach of, in this case, a calf. It can be sheep. It can be, um, I don't know what else you'd use, a goat, I guess, but that'd be pretty small. So that, that interior, that stomach wall is scraped and dried, and then they ride on it. It lasts forever. And this was written on with silver and you know silver if, after a while it can tarnish and so it has become black because it's really hard to polish it when it's written on vel vellum it's a really old piece the interesting part is that um the purple dye that was used to make that vellum purple is super hard and expensive to come across um, this is a better image of our piece of Rebecca and Eliezer at the well. You can see the purple here. And that purple was made from these little murex snails that are found on the eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea. And actually, it's kind of the mucus from those snails. And you can get it by squeezing the mucus out of the snail, or you can just crush up the snail whole and that purple dye will come out. So it takes like 12,000 of these snails to make the edging that was worn by the wealthy people in the Roman Empire on their togas. Okay, um, context, or this is might be content too. It's a description of what's going on in this image. And the story is about this girl, Rebecca. Um, but it's also about Abraham, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, many sons has Father Abraham, or children. And um, Isaac was one of Abraham's sons. And Abraham felt like Isaac needed a wife. So Abraham sent his servant, Eliezer, to get a wife for Isaac. And he sent him back to his hometown of uh, Na oh my goodness, Nador. And um, Eliezer decided on his way back to that town that he would 
know what was the right girl for Isaac because he would see when he got to the well of the town how many or which girl helped him out with getting water for himself and for his camels. And so you can see these. This is a popular Bible story. Here's a picture of Rebecca or painting. Here's another Pekka picture of painting of Rebecca at the well getting water for Eliezer. Um, so here is our image of Rebecca coming from town to the well to get water. And this is called a continuous narrative because it kind of, here's Rebecca and here's Rebecca again. So it shows us this continuous story. And um, the first would be, here she is. She's got an empty jug for getting water. She's walking past these columns, which you can see are very, very tiny. The art at this point is the most minimal. The artist just wants to portray the Bible story Nothing frivolous going on here, but the art is still connected to those early Roman, um, Greek, um, typical things that you'd have in art. So that's why these columns are still here. And then we have this woman over here who is getting water from or emptying water from her pitcher into the stream and she's nude partially and so it's kind of out of place it seems like it's also a leftover from the greeks and the romans and then our second scene with rebecca look at her arm is outstretched she is giving water to eliezer and his he's got 10 camels so i've mentioned that already that we have this continuity from the greek and the roman period with this this woman over here with this jug and water, it's like she's the personification of a spring. And um, also, we do you remember this coin back in the Roman times that I showed you when we were studying the Colosseum? You can see the view is kind of weird. It's like they have a drone. And um, they use that same view for the town of Nahor. So... Some things still continuing from early art. Then the next piece, this is actually this is Jacob, and Jacob is actually going to be Rebecca and Isaac's son. And so Jacob is on a trip to Canaan. Here, here is Jacob, and here are two of his wives. He had children with four women, but these two wives are here. Here are his sons. Um, they're going on a trip. And in this stage, holy cats, they're on this bridge. But look at this bridge. I mean, it's a Roman bridge. You can see the arches here. And then you can see the backside of the arches. So this shows us that art is in a transitional period, moving from Roman to this medieval art. The perspective is all wonky. But here's Jacob. He's kind of removed himself a little bit, a little bit of distance from his family. And one son is kind of looking over the bridge. Well, in this next scene, Jacob is fighting with an angel. And the angel kind of kicks him in the hip. The hip gets kind of hurt. They tussle. And in the next scene, Jacob is asking the angel for a blessing. And the angel, who we're not sure who the angel is, it could be man or it could be God. And the angel gives Jacob a blessing and he actually changes Jacob's name from Jacob to Israel. And that name Israel ends up making him kind of the father of all the Israelites, all of the Jews at this point in history. And so Israel here ends up becoming the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are his, his 12 boys. And so here he is, his whole family's going off and he's going to go off with them transformed. So um, form seems like this bridge is wonky. Seems like they could have just done this in a freeze, but they're changing it up a little bit. 
the columns, look at these columns. This column is further away from us, but it's bigger. And the columns closer to us are smaller. So we're beginning to get this changed up feel in art where the focus is less on the artistry, more on the Bible story. And this is a popular story. Here's lots of versions of Jacob fighting the angel. 